Hi everybody, it is dark in here. In uh, the US at least, we call this the spring showers. Even though winter's over, it's actually colder and rainier than it was during winter, now that it's spring. So, I am freezing cold, my fingertips barely have blood flowing into them. I have a feeling that this will impede my gameplay, but that's okay, because we're only going to be doing the hardest stuff today, that being heroic and iron challenges on chaos mode. Now. If there was a recent update for Chaos Mode that came out, along with um, the patch notes that also came out very recently, then I don't have that update. I just have whatever the previous version was that I was using last time I was playing. This is the um, <clears throat> save file that I accidentally almost destroyed by changing the difficulty for a little bit. But I believe, yep, things are back to normal. I am on impossible mode. So good. I can play all of these properly. So first of all, let me reset my star upgrades because this is what I need to do. Also, hi everybody. Hello BTD6DP. Hello Ricky Lin. Hello Pixie. Nice haircut by the way. Oh, thank you. Someone noticed. My dad did uh, my haircut for me. So you can congratulate him. Let's just get three stars and everything. Uh, oh, oops. <laughs> and then, eh, might as well get four stars in most things as well. Yeah, get that instead, and then we'll work our way up to this. But I believe it's just level 3 max right now. Yeah, upgrade level 3. So, let's go with, um... Yeah, let's go with the iron first. This this one should actually be a little bit harder because we have archers to work with, and we don't have max star upgrades for them. They depend a lot on their star upgrades for utility. Let's put a smile on that face. Hello, you look good. Oh, thank you, Luca. The face cam is back. Oh, is that uh, Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen, Luca? Now that is a show that I have unpopular opinions about. Uh, okay, we just have Hoplites, Crisis and Cutthroats, and then this. So, hmm. <clears throat> you see, stuff like this, like just seeing that there's sword spiders, that really makes me want to use... Uh, what kind of arches do I want to use? That makes me want to use like the crossbow for it. You know, but I don't know if I have enough gold for that. No, what I'd rather do... I can... Hold on. What what part um, reaches the path more easily? Let me just build both of these. Okay, I suppose this one does. So if I was to build... Oh, I don't have battle mecha. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. Yeah, never mind. I don't want to... I, I can't build a battle mecha then. Hmm... Decisions, decisions. You know what? Let's just build the Arc Druid Henge and see how it goes. It has been buffed, so you know what? Maybe it will be useful, you know? It's not like this is a mostly support tower and Katha is a support hero. It's not like they're going to really need something else to deal damage. Yeah, actually. How about Mus... No. Well, Musketeers first would be good if they weren't held back by needing uh, star upgrades to be good. So maybe doors at the um, barrel, like that. And then we can build into a, an Arc Druid Henge after that. Yeah, <laughs> max barrel to blow up spiders. Mm -hmm. Katha, get XP. I'm doing the campaign right now in Frontiers Vanilla Veteran and I am cheesing through all the levels of Pirate Flamethrower. Oh yes, I'm sure that is quite a good uh, tower. Is how is the Frontiers mod anyways? Because I haven't played it in a in a little bit. So I don't know if it has all the towers yet. Is it like Origins or is it set up more like the Kingdom Rush 1 mod? Let's see. If you didn't update the mod, you don't have the Evoker and Heretic changes. Oh, okay. Well, good thing that I'm not um, doing that part then. Oh boy, here he comes. Uh, yeah, I'll get this and then we'll be ready to stall. Hmm, you know what, maybe... Oh yeah, n never mind. Okay, barrel. Sometime today. Please, give me the barrel. Okay, there's the barrel. And then, yeah, poison him. Cool. Another barrel. Yeah, the, that barrel damage isn't sufficient to kill him. Okay, good. Now we know. Also, Katha, that was some bad AI there. Wh who do you think you are, Aravan? 
Oh yeah, look, we already got another one. Okay, so let's level up Katha, since I can get the XP, and then use artillery from the beginning, because clearly the barrel's not good enough. Uh, oh, right, I, I distributed these stats for XP gain. Okay, maximum warriors. This one seems like it's going to suck, actually, so maybe maximum heal. And then just some stun. And then go back here to the iron, if I can find it on the map. <laughs> oh, hey, Derek. Let's do... Yeah, yeah, let's move her back over here. And then go for a dwarf right away. <laughs> I think that just more damage is necessary. And then see if I can get Furnace Blast, at least to tier 2. If I get it to tier 2, then I'm good to go. No need to worry about anything else. Yeah, hurry up and spawn them. She has to invest, I guess, in the ability by doing the animation. And then I have to stun this. Oh yeah, I, I forgot that I didn't max that out at all, so... Come on. Alright, yeah, you come over here. <clears throat> Trying to damage those guys early ended up being uh, more trouble than it was worth, I think. Especially because I don't, I didn't even earn enough gold to get to Furnace Blast. Wow, those pixies couldn't have a worse time to spawn and despawn. Alright, there we go. There we got them. Poison him. Now, poisoning him might be a trap. Because he's slow, he has time to spawn more um, cutthroats. So it could be that I should not do that instead. That might be the better play here. And then yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, spawn those guys. And then we'll stun him so that way he can't do any shenanigans. That it, Okay, it didn't matter. But we kill them anyways. Yeah, yeah, get put to sleep. <laughs> nice. That was good RNG. Whack their peepees. Good, good idea, Kevin. Good strategy. I'm sure that's what the developers intended. Someone was like, wow, that's a pretty evil looking enemy. What are you supposed to do against it? Whack his peepee. -pee. Alright. More damage dealt. <laughs> yeah, spawn all these people. And then these guys are going to be stuck here for a long, long time. Fire? Not yet. Fire now? No, not yet. There we go. And then, honestly, I'm just going to block him with Katha. Alright. Oh, good. That was perfect timing. Uh, unfortunately, though, still not enough damage to kill him outright, even if we max this out. Yeah, he's just shy. Well, we got that. Okay, yeah, everything worked out. Happy ending. And now we have these guys, so let's, let's get the group of five with the poison. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Got all five. And this also slows them down in range of the fire, so everything works out there. Now, here's the question. Do I want bears? Or something else, like uh, ranger's hideout? I think I'm going to go for the bears. <laughs> now, I, I it probably would have been better to just upgrade the hero spell. Now that they think about it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then more of them can be poisoned. Look at that. I poison every single one of these uh, elves. Now, let these guys all die so they don't... Mm -hmm. There we go. Now that they're all dead, I can spawn these reinforcements and they won't be spawn killed. Okay, here's the question. Do I use lightning? Is there going to be another enemy that spawns? Don't back me into a corner here and force me to waste lightning. Okay, I guess that was the end of the level. All right. <laughs> I <laughs> I had more gold than I needed at the end there. All right, cool. All's well that ends well. Now I can't click on the stage. There we go. <laughs> and let's just jump straight into the heroic. Now, um, let me see what's going on here. With the comments, because I am a bit bit behind let's see lucas says i'm on discord w poverty i need context for why you are using katha um people were saying to use katha before they kept on saying oh use katha use katha 
I mean, they not that constantly, but there were a couple of suggestions to use her, and I was against it for the longest time. So now I'm finally using Katha. All right, Blade Singer seems like an obvious choice here, and then. Honestly, the Dwarf would still be a good idea. But, because there's nothing but harassers right now. Oh man, I don't know if the Dwarf or level 3 artillery can handle that. So we'll find out. <laughs> oh, everyone's liking the haircut, huh? Yeah, alright. Anyone anyone who says that they like my haircut, you gotta tell my dad. Or you know what? I'll tally up everybody that says they like the haircut. So that we can get validation. Alright, spawn the pixies. Now everyone will be in range of the AoE. Or, you know, just leap away. But hey, eventually, once they leap away, then they won't leap away again. Eh? Okay. Yeah, stun them. I should have done that earlier. Oh, we got them coming from this side. Alright, harassers and... Oh, okay, spiders. Spooters. Alright, yeah, now that those guys are all together, I can safely kill them. And I gotta wait for the reinforcements. This origin star upgrades. Let's see, your haircut is cool. <laughs> Thanks. How much damage will this do to these guys? Oh, I got him too. Nice. I don't know the wave composition, so this is just working out. Uh, yeah, do that, and then bring in the dwarf. Wow, look, do you see how long it took for him to charge the attack? Okay. These guys are definitely dead. And... Okay, I'm just gonna stall them. Summon more units. Stall them. Further. With poison. Stall them even further. Mm-hmm. Get big AoE. Set them up. And... Yeah, okay, great. Good job, Lightning. Prioritize the um, cutthroats instead. <laughs> wow, all of those soldiers grouped up and got uh, hit there. I don't know if there's a use limit. Or not use, but like a soldier limit for who can be webbed. Alright, stun him now. And then, yeah, poison him too. Yeah, hurry up with your heal animation. Reinforcements. And what to do here? I can level these guys up soon. Yeah, I'll do that now. Oh, wow. He got stunned out of it. Nice. Yeah, all right. The fire should do the rest of the work that I need it to do. Or maybe the poison will. One of the two. Thank you, Katha. Landing on the spider. And now everything's easy. Once you're not falling behind with the dwarf, everything's peachy. Now what do we got? Cutthroat, hoplite, and more cutthroats. Okay. So the hoplite could be a problem, but I'm just gonna, you know, go all in on the barracks, and then we should be good. <laughs> Alright, first comment to be pinned of the day. Alright, poison these guys too. <clears throat> and then... Let's see... Isn't Rakesun the best here for this level because no Boom Shroom problem? If they were here, yes, but that's like another three levels from now. This one is just the introduction of, of these guys and Web Spitters. These guys being the, um, I don't know, the goat people. If you want to group both of these guys up. Oh, well, okay, they do have a word in common, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. See, I thought it was pronounced like satire. But I guess it's Seder, which is ugly. That's an ugly pronunciation, so I'm boycotting it. Also, spiders, cutthroats, cutthroats and hoplite, harasser, and then more harassers. Okay, <laughs> uh, according to my calculations, that means stun. Alright, once again, the lightning AI <laughs> is as unhelpful as possible because it's targeting everything but the big health guys. Alright, wait for them to get in range. Get in range. Mm -hmm. Poison everybody. Then finally upgrade these guys. And then... Yep, now they're all... They were all burnt to a crisp. 
And finally, uh, oh, hold on, what are the other options? Wow, we have everything on this page, everything on that page. Okay, I, I always forget what's on every page. So, yeah, Blade Singers. Oh yeah, I also forgot some of, uh, an another thing that I'm missing now is some of the balance updates. <clears throat> okay, there really is no unit cap on the web attack. Because, yeah, that just uh, webbed everybody there, except for the Blade Singer. Okay, good. And Kath is almost leveled up again. So, also good. Let me see. For real, though, the haircut is fresh. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. How to level up heroes fast in Kingdom Rush Origins. I have a video on that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Play casual and it's recommended to play the last four of the first. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're explaining how it works now actually it turns out that there's a more specific uh detail to it than that than just the last level of the environment but i'm not going to go into it here because i don't remember what the numbers are i just know that there's an expected level for every single <laughs> level oh great okay so there's two different meanings of the word level there's an expected hero level for every level if that makes sense so at level 5, your hero is expected to be level 6, let's just say. So that way, there's two different numbers, it's not confusing. Um, if your hero is below the expected level, then they gain like quadruple XP or something insane like that. And if they're above the expected level, they gain like one-fourth of the amount of XP as normal. So they level up really, really slowly, so that way they don't get too far ahead of where they're supposed to be at, so to speak. So if you farm on like easy-ish levels, then you're just like shooting yourself in the foot and it's going to be worse. But anyways, um, Katha, I, I'm assuming is below the expected level or at the expected level and earning XP normally. So, okay, yeah, let's do the iron. I like doing the irons first because they're simpler. The heroics are more complicated because of how many enemies there are. Oh boy. <laughs> so came five. Did you, uh, did you check to see if this is possible? Do you know if this level is doable? What have we got here? No artillery, and we got to deal with bloomies. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, Diron, welcome. And thank you for the compliments. Okay. Gloomy, Scourger, Gloomy, Scourger, and Spider. And then just Gloomy and Scourger. So... <clears throat> Silence would be helpful here. But how the heck am I going to achieve that? Uh... Yeah, this is... This is, uh... Not boating well. I'll say that much. Like, what, what even can you do here? And also, I'm not sure if Kath is the right play. Uh... Yeah, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. This, yeah. Just, just based on the fact that there's Gloomies and no Tesla. Means that this could be the hardest challenge yet. So I'll give this a couple of attempts. Of course the Gloomies spawn on this side. And, and I prepared for them on the left. Oh boy. Come on, good. The archers, they were trying so hard to whiff. No, come on, do not. Oh my god, idiot spiders. No, idiot archers, I mean, attacking attacking the spiders. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, I'll just use lightning on the spiders. Or I could have used it on the gloomies themselves, but that would have been bad. Yeah, see, look at how bad um, Katha is for this. I have to rely on her to to stop these enemies. No, 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 no. What, I, what needs to happen is the hero needs to be able to kill all the units so that way the archers don't get distracted. So... Uh, thought be gone. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need to choose someone else. Now, I guess I'll get XP on Brave Bark as well. Let's get this. Level up this. Actually, it probably might be more prudent to level up the hero spell more. No, no, no. I need the thing that does big damage more uh, than anything else. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then we'll come over here and try this. Otherwise, oh my gosh, I don't I don't know how that would be doable. 
Maybe with a max level Katha. Like, you come back with her at level 10. But, eh. Okay. So we need them here. Do I want to even get Barrage? This could cause more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, maybe not. And then, oh my gosh, for Scourgers. What can I even do? Musketeers, maybe? Alright, at that point, the Dwarven Bastion would be better. Yeah, I'll just do that, I guess. Air Vans to play. Brave Cut. <laughs> I like that name for him. Alright, yeah, you know what? Let's damage these people. These wenches. Oh, <laughs> nice. They got one more shot off. Also, three saplings. That's nice. Green leans, I mean. Not saplings. Alright, poison. Good. That's enough to kill them. I was looking at them with great interest. Uh, okay, great. I gotta teleport him again. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hey, he's not immune to bleed. What is this? Not Kingdom Rush, or not Legends of Kingdom Rush? Oh my god. Look at that. Alright. Uh, nope. I Of course that won't do the trick. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. No. That one, that one's an immediate skip. That one, you have to cheese it with, like, Phoenix. There's no way you can do that normally. I'm not even going to bother wasting my time. Uh, I'll keep using Brave Bark, though. We'll do it for the Heroic. And he doesn't have his insta-kill, so it should be interesting to see him deal with uh, Mandersnatches. No, that's not a restart. That's just, that's just a nope. That's noping out. My... My time is too valuable to waste on this. Also, I forgot to use the beanstalk last time. Now, uh, we got these people and these people. Okay, what is the amount of gold you get random? Because that time I only got 11 gold. Now, in anticipation of gloomies, I'm going to just go for the Tesla right away. Oh, yeah, I don't have smart targeting. Never mind. That, hmm. Well, I guess the Tesla could still be good. But, yeah, this is a bit of a conundrum now. Oh, it's one. Oh, never mind. I, th I thought I had 1220 to start with. Okay. What was it before? Like, 80? Hmm. There might not even be gloomies in this challenge, you know? I'm almost tempted to cheat and find out, like, by looking on the wiki what the wave composition is. In fact, you know what? I will. <laughs> I will do that. Okay, Grimsburg. I'm going on Google right now, so just give me a second. Grimsburg. Come on, load. And then Heroic. Wave Composition. Oh, there's a list of strategy options here. Wow, this is taking a long time to load. <laughs> I think it's because the wiki is trying as hard as possible to inundate me with um, ads, and it just can't. Can't load them all. Okay, good. As I suspected, there are no gloomies here. So, I can go for um, a dwarf right away. <laughs> Alright, this should, this should uh, go well. Let me put this here. These guys here too. And then, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, let's, let's try to damage the hoplite a little bit. Just, just a wee bit. Yeah, do that. Lightning too, actually. Okay, good. That was enough to kill him. I, I really wanted that to happen. Yep, just keep slowly attacking so that we can get XP. And then, yeah, come on, call the wave already. I should have just pressed W. Oh, he's attacking the randoms. Okay, come on, come on. Good. Oh, yeah, he's attacking the Scorcher. That, that's good, too, except he's going to die. <laughs> Look at that uh, heal rate. This is why um, Aridan is the better tank than Brave Bark. Brave Bark, all he has going for him is the insta kill. That's the only advantage that he has over Aridan. Okay, good. They got splattered. Oh, oops. I should have waited on that. Oh, well. Uh, okay. These waves are going by really fast, by the way. This is just. 
like th there's nothing in the waves it's just the enemies all spawn instantly and then it's the next wave that's coming out yeah and I, I need to get this fully upgraded so that we can damage these guys better I poison them oh okay yeah, yeah go that way and he can do AoE when there's um, only one enemy in range. Good to know. So gotta be careful not to waste that. Do that. Try to damage these guys too a little bit. Oh good, yeah, get burned. And then I'll do this too. And Brave Bark, you can focus on that. Okay, good, we got the Banner Snatch coming immediately. I guess um, I should go for core drill right away, if I can squeeze that in. Nope, okay, steam moment on his basic attack because that's slow. Okay, we'll just call that in now, immediately. Maybe I can get enough gold. You know what's funny is that if I didn't have the barracks, then um, I could afford this by now because it's 140 gold. Okay, yeah, I should have just done that to begin with. And then what's coming? Not another Banner Snatch, interestingly. Alright, yeah, this is what we need. Oh, boy. Yep. Get stuck attacking all those people. And, yep, get stuck attacking him, too. Oh, my gosh. He's got the, um, what's it called? Kingsguard problem. Where he's stuck attacking other units. Alright, yeah, level up core drill. All I, all I did was check to see if there were gloomies in the wave, not the rest of the spawns. So yeah, there's still other problems with this. Imagine trying to go for the Tesla here. This would just be the worst. Oh yeah, yep, unwinnable. Come on. Uh, Cordrill? Okay, good. Now, yeah, let the AoE kill them. And then, oh, dang it. I tried to be fancy, and now it's out of range, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Well, it's definitely now. Uh, it's wave six, though. Okay, great, the green leech just got instantly killed. Uh, okay, yeah, we gotta rely on these guys. Uh, yeah, they're never going to kill him. Wow. <laughs> Poor Brave Bark. He, he kind of sucks. Um, obviously, he doesn't have his healing ability still. But, um, yeah, honestly, I think I think a leveled up Aerodan would do better. Yeah, I'm going to give him Nimble Fencer. And then farm XP with him on here in the Heroic. And see if he can tank the Bandit Snatches for long enough to do what I need him to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what's the word? Cleanest kids content creator, the real Morgan. Where's Jiggle Physics? I'm late. <laughs> we must move on. Uh, okay. Yeah, I remember what what I was planning to do. Now, honestly, I should just put the dwarf all the way back here because there's not enough time to get anything else, anyways. <laughs> and one barracks only. I can get a second one if I need to. In fact, I'll probably end up doing that because I think the strategy will necessitate that. But I'll get tier 2 Furnace Blast as well, and then hopefully I can get Cordial right away. Instead of like rushing to call waves so that way I can get money. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to Lightning right away. The sooner I do it, the sooner I can charge the ability. Mm -hmm. Aerodan just uh, casually dying there. And then, oh, he didn't summon anything. Yeah, you know, I should have done that right away, too. And how are these guys doing? Not good, it looks like. Yeah, the base dwarf having a little bit of trouble killing them. Let's see. Nope, can't, can't dodge that. Well, okay, no dodges. 30% chance, but failed, like, five times in a row. Just my luck. All right. Uh... Wait for these guys to get out of range. Oh, okay, yeah, the lightning still. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's fine, that's fine. That's just, uh, Aerodan dying early. We get everything fail. Now, I envy people who know how to set up a macro. Because if I want to try a strategy, like, 20 times in a row, 
I could save myself a lot of time. Alright, do this right away. Do this right away. No hesitation. In fact, I should have done the lining even sooner. But whatever. And Aerodyne needs to move into melee combat. But these guys need to hurry up and die. There we go. And then, yeah, help out the dwarf. Now, I've heard before from Pollux that the wiser thing to do... Oh, okay, great. Nonsense. That the wiser thing to do is to put these guys in the back behind the reinforcements because they have a projectile. But if you want to kill that unit faster, you're going to want to use um, the melee attacks because they do more damage. Uh, okay. The slow helped tremendously. Get, hurry up and give me the restart. So that was good. For that reason, it was good. Yeah, I just need to get the gold faster. So, yeah, I'm not even going to wait for him to show up all the way. Yeah, damage him as much as possible. <laughs> and Aerodan, if you could please get to level 3 at some point. So much for the expected level helping. This, <laughs> this guy's earning no XP. Probably because he's hitting an enemy of high armor. I have a feeling that might have something to do with it. Okay, yeah, struggle to those guys. Okay, yeah, no, oh my gosh, what happened? I clicked on the path, and I guess this part, which is still the path, visually, is an invalid part. Okay, great. And then, okay, move this all the way down here. Maybe this is still doable. <laughs> Look at the, how slowly the barracks troops have to come out. Yeah, no. Or maybe... No, I, I'm not even going to say yes. Where is Aerodan? I <laughs> There's so much visual clutter down here. Okay, yeah. He, all he's going to do is die constantly. That's probably... Probably has something to do with the fact that he's level 2. In this stage. When you're supposed to be a higher level. But... Can you blame me? I'd say that's a flaw of the hero system. The uh, Frontier's hero leveling system. That now, if you want to do a strategy for a different hero, you're forced out of it because the hero's level is too low. Okay, yeah, much damage as possible. And this is way better for damage because, you know, Nimble Fencer would do more. Big Bertha, please. That will not do Jack Dudley's squat. <clears throat> Especially since it's bugged to be worse. Okay, he lives. Oh, great. Uh, okay, yeah, poison everybody so that way they can group up faster. Oh, dang it. Oh, my gosh. I hate clicking with the mouse. Come on, get into range of the dwarf already. Stupid reinforcements keeping him alive. Now, okay, what if I did this? And then try to kill him with the furnace blast instead. Hmm? How does this do? Okay, 1 HP. Nice. And I really want to wait to get his arrow storm. No, okay, that did no damage, so it doesn't matter. Alright, I have an idea. Let's get XP for Aerodan. Oh gosh, wait a minute. No, I can't get XP because of impossible mode. Oh, unless, okay, KM5, did you change it in the previous update? So before this one. Because if so... I'm going to farm XP right now in the Ascent. Like this. So, <laughs> let's just come over here. So, Impossible Mode either gives me way less XP or slightly more. I'll find out right now. Uh, okay, yeah, my Star Base kind of sucked. But I'm just going to... I just I just need to survive long enough that I can uh, proceed. Let me just use this, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, attack that. Uh, go over here. Kill those guys. And then... Is he gaining that much more XP? I think so. Oh, the poor Aero Storm is so weak. Yeah, and I don't I don't care how few lives I, I, I uh, have. Or how quickly I lose lives, I should say. I just need... I just need XP on Aerodan. I don't. This probably is not the most efficient way to get it. 
but I can't change it off of impossible difficulty. You know what I mean? And also, I, I didn't even get a chance to get the, um, what's it called? Silencing totem. That's alright. Oh yeah, that was really alright. Didn't matter. Oh, okay. Now... Come on. Yeah, good. Oh, that was the worst thing that could have happened. I, w I would have wanted the freeze. And Aerodin's dead. Okay, yeah, this is probably not the best way to farm XP for him either. But I know what is. Alright, you ready for this? First of all, get rid of this. Get Aero Volley. I need as many projectiles as possible. Because XP in Origins is bugged to give you, like, the ability XP for every attack. Rather than the actual ability. So multi-hit abilities give you way more. And they come over to this stage. And farm all the bunnies. This is level 4 now, I think. Level 4 star upgrades. So, yeah, I can just shoot bunnies. And get a bunch of XP. Okay, now we just wait for Aerodan to get to, like, level 20 or something like that. Or, sorry, what am I talking about? To, like, uh... <laughs> I, level... What, what, what level do I want him to be at? 8? Maybe. All for one challenge as well. Okay, great. Uh, now he's at level 3. So exit out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that took a long time. Uh, yeah, get that. Get the porcupine. And then go back to the iron. And then farm again. Fuduk say uwu. I just did by reading that out. Ooh, okay. Looks like people have some spicy takes on the hero leveling system. That's good. You guys, uh, you guys duke it out. I think that the Kingdom Rush 1 system is more satisfying for each, like, individual level. Like, every time you play a level, you get the satisfaction of leveling up the hero every time. Whereas, it's only good for the campaign. Um, it, like, it, it's only good for your first playthrough in the other system. And on top of that, um, well... Okay, it's both better and worse for balance. Like, for in-game balance, it's better because you can plan around having, you know, your hero be level 10 from the beginning. As opposed to Kingdom Rush 1, where it's balanced around having no hero, kind of. Also, the fact that Aerodance is already level 4. Look at, look at all the XP he's getting. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, now... Attack her. Oh, right. He has donut range. So, yeah. Come over here. And then we're going to get some poop. Oh, yeah. Look at all the projectiles. Okay. Level 2 poop before it's too late. Nice. And then once everyone's, like, in the poop, we'll do arrow volley. Poison. And, okay. It's over. So, just get as much XP as you can. Actually, wait a minute, it's not over. Nice. <laughs> they do have enough time to throw that out, which is good. And they can I move him up any further? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, wow, okay. I see. So the priority is to target whoever's going down here first, which is the opposite of what it was when I was doing the campaign. So I don't understand the difference. Or may maybe it's just coincidence. But I remember before, when the enemies were here in the middle, the enemies that would happen to be going down to the left were lower priority. Uh, yeah, poison them. And then, yeah, I'll just air, air, use arrow volley on them. Look at all this XP he's getting. This is not a serious attempt at the level, by the way, so if I end up, like, winning, that would be pretty fun. Also, I don't know if I actually have the star upgrades for this. Like, obviously my star upgrades are not optimal. My hero upgrades are not optimal. <laughs> don't make fun of my, um, my fascination. Or, don't make fun of the humor that I get out of poop, okay? I just find it funny. And I'm not grossed out by it. Which is my, it's the only thing I have for my personality. 
Uh, Alright. <laughs> Banshee priorities. Okay. I assume that this thing's just going to be perma-stalled. So yeah, mecha's the only way. I, I should have saved that for later. I was saving it up for later anyways. But I decided that I needed the slow. That was uh, a bit of a mistake. Okay, dwarf. Do I even have enough gold to benefit from from using this thing? Yeah, you know what? I might just go for Cordro right away. Oh yeah, that was a mistake. Oh yeah, and I'm also not going to get any gold anymore because at this point... Oh my gosh. Yeah, at this point, with four Avengers left who each give only 30 gold for some dumb reason. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything out of that. Uh, okay, the best thing to do would be to try to try to shoot at this guy while he's stalled. No. Well, I can get some extra damage in right there. Okay, good. So let's level up Aerodan and then do this again. That's good, though. I can get to the very end of the level before I run into armored enemies. Uh, yeah, might as well do that. And then tier 1 of Nimble Fencer. Actually... I'll, I'll do it like this. Okay, so maximum, like, arrow power. And I just want to... Oh, no, that's pretty much almost the same thing as what I just did. But whatever. Uh, I'll redistribute my star upgrades as well. Oh, maybe I did have everything maxed out that I would have wanted. Because what is, what is the limit here? Let me see. It's four, right? Yeah, okay, so I did have the star upgrades optimized. <laughs> nice. Oiled up Malik is ready for Mr. Olympia. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you think the bad things in KRV are bad because, first of all, they genuinely are, or because how KRV really turned out to be? Um, could you elaborate, D? I don't know what you mean there, but I would like to know what you mean. Alright, uh... Yeah, we'll just go for the poop again immediately. Instant poop. And put reinforcements here. Move this all the way up. Oh, hey, Yusuf. Yeah, I, I've i said before, if you like Kingdom Rush Vengeance, you probably just don't care that much about the finer details, which is fine. Oh, gosh. Ervin whiffed on that bunny so many times. And when I say you don't care that much about them, like, that can be taken in multiple ways as well. Like, um, to say, oh, you don't care is not, um, me calling you, I don't know, like, trashy taste or anything like that. I just mean that those things don't bother you, which can be a good thing as well. Alright, Aravan, or Aradan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to Aradan being the one that whiffs. And then, do I want a lightning here? I think I do. <laughs> okay, great. I was reading the chat. I don't think I need higher tier poop, though. Yeah, this, this battle mecha seems to be doing just fine. Not anymore. Never mind. Okay, don't whiff. He whiffed. He whiffed twice. Okay, fine. I'll just use lightning here. If, if I stay alive longer and get more XP, then that's a good thing. Alright, max out poop. And then the only other thing to utilize would be archers. Which, yeah, I guess I should have gone into that. Because some of their, like, some of their damage can be good against Avengers. Wow, Aerodan is whiffing a lot. Average archer L, or common archer L. And then, yeah, poison all of these guys. Poop on them, too. And... I'm pretty sure reinforcements will handle the rest. These things are here for a reason. Good. Uh, Katha would genuinely be better than Aerodan on Grimsburg Iron because she can stun while the dwarf does damage. Oh yeah, that's true, huh? You know what? Maybe I'll just farm with all the heroes. Or edit my save file. But it would be nice to uh, finish this level. Um, right now, if I can. Clearly, I didn't even need to worry about conserving the lightning because look at this. I just got it back already. 
Yeah, you know what? I'll get missiles. Man, this tower needed to be nerfed. And it's still quite good. Like, I, I could have um, gotten the tier 2 on one more enemy kill. Now it just took a second enemy to be killed. So, you know, big whoop de doo Uh, will I get the lightning back in time? The answer is probably no. <laughs> hey, come on, keep pooping. Poop. Aw, oh, dang it. It had, to, it had to be facing that way, didn't it? Oh, well. And I think he's at his expected level now. Let's see, where were missiles go? Nowhere helpful, that's for sure. I mean, okay, that, that one was kind of helpful. Alright, let's get him... Let's let's get his uh, abilities upgraded again. Look at that. Just just immediately get a free uh, hero spell upgrade. Bunny's got a speed buff. That's why the errors are missing. Oh, so they wouldn't have missed on normal impossible mode, right? Because on normal impossible mode, they already have a speed buff. So I wouldn't be super able to, like we did for the golden longbow. My gosh, that tower would be so unusable without that hit distance buff. In fact, I don't even know if I implemented that when I try to add the rebalance changes <laughs> to the mod. Okay, yeah, poison everything. Uh, do this. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, that would just go there. And then wait for more bunnies to come. Make it poop. Oh, you know what I should do, actually, is... um, Okay, one more porcupine or whatever it's called, Air Volley. And then get some XP from Nimble Fencer, because it does slightly more damage. Mm-hmm. And then shoot the Air Volley. Then while that's on cooldown, go back to doing this. Yeah, there we go. And then another Air Volley. Nice. All the juicy XP come to Papa. And let's stick with tier 2 and then get the missiles right away. And then get tier 3. Why didn't you go for Dwarp right off the bat so you can save up for Cordial and Avengers? Because it would get blocked by Scourgers. But you are right. Uh, the Cordial right off the bat would be good. Since I can't seem to afford anything uh, more. Like, I can't, I can't afford one more, like, good tower. I just have to get the Battle Mecha and that's it. I think. Yeah, because the Avengers aren't going to do that much more damage. Or are, aren't going to give me that much more gold to deal more damage with. Okay, great. Now I have to waste more reinforcements on them. And then poison. Cool. He almost used air volley. And then... Yeah, you know, use lightning. Because I'll get it back. Look at all the purple magic back here. Oh, okay, yeah, just buff every bunny. Nice. Good thing I have a completed save file so I can skip levels of Summa too hard for me. Okay, nice. I mean, I did skip the Heroic and Iron challenges already. And I'm just coming back to them now for stars and hero XP. So that way I have more options going into the end game. Even though I'm about to get like double the amount of heroes once I once I beat the Shrine of Alini. Okay, 210 damage. I guess I'll have to take that. Oh, dang it, I interrupted the missiles. Oh, you know what? That's fine though. Uh no, never mind. It was not. <laughs> that was not fine at all. Okay, well, whatever. Missiles? Dece okay, nope. <laughs> did, did you see the bunnies get blown up by one last lightning bolt at the very end there? <laughs> Man, isn't it nice that Aerodan levels up so quickly? Also, let me see if I can do better by replacing uh, the artillery or the barrack star upgrades with archers instead. Oh, and I can still do this. Yeah, right, right. Okay, cool. Everything's decked out. Now, honestly, I probably could just proceed with this in Grimsburg. Let me do let me do one honest attempt at Unseelie Court. Hello, uh, Kadri Buje. Buje. Mod idea. Heroes United. Let you play multiple, even all heroes in a level. 
Oh, the, the masculine urge to play with more than one hero in a level. I said it before. I'll say it again. It's hilarious to me how when I made a video ranking all the heroes from worst to best, everyone was like, towers, towers, towers. And then, now that there's a mod for all the towers, everyone's like, heroes, heroes, heroes. Alright. Oh, there's a reason why I put him down there first. It's because this bunny, this bunny spawns a little bit sooner. Yeah, you know, I just put them here. I was thinking, uh, you know, I can always pull Aerodam back and then have him shoot at all the bunnies. Okay, arrow volley. Okay, how about now? Good. And then one more arrow? No. And they shoot them off that... Oh, okay, that arrow volley went in a terrible spot. It started going down the yellow path instead. Boop. And you know what? Let's slow down the bunnies by spawning lightning right here. Let's see what this does, what this accomplishes. Very little. Yeah, I still have to waste reinforcements over there. Okay, good. He has, he has the twin slashes for extra XP. And yeah, we'll get this. Uh, spawn the reinforcements. Aerodan needs to move. Good, level 9. Uh, and then, yeah, I think I have to waste it on that. Well, it's not a waste if I survive, right? Wait till you see how fast Lin levels up. Oh, I know. She and Bruce are the epitome of leveling up quickly. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't need to do that. Yeah, and I don't want to go for the missiles this time. Because I'm going to try to use archers. I just have to wait until the Scourgers stop spawning. Actually, I guess I don't have to wait. I can still do it. Uh, yep, gotta waste lightning on these bunnies. Because the poison vine's not back up. And then, okay, they're all spawned. So poison now. I have hiccups. You can't hear them. Because my hiccups are always silent for whatever reason. But I have them. Uh, okay, and then what archer do I want? Do I want the golden longbow? The hunter's mark would be really, really good. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. It's probably the cheapest, like, anti-big guy um, upgrade that I can get. So that's what I'll get. Bloons Rush mod when? Would that be Bloons in Kingdom Rush? I would assume so. Oh, yeah, you know what? I was missing some of the buffs from the golden longbows. My bad. I forgot that I tried to make the Golden Longbow upgrade a little bit cheaper. Like, this was supposed to only be 250 I think. Yeah, whoopsie-daisy. Uh, yeah, okay, everybody just back up. <laughs> Poison. Get Hunter's Mark with the gold. Good. <laughs> nice, more AoE. Back these guys up. Uh... Hunter's Mark. Okay, yeah, yeah, get wasted. Whatever. Rip. Oh, shoot. And he can't retarget. Great job. Okay, yeah, you know what? Might as well max this out, too. Come on. Oh my gosh, the, <laughs> the golden longbow is so stupid. Yeah, keep wasting your ability. Okay, fine. Uh, there's a bit of a discrepancy here. Okay, come on. Oh, shoot. Mega Micro, no. And, okay, good. I won anyways. Even with the Golden Longbow being as dumb as possible. Do you curse IRL and only family friendly on stream? No, I never curse. Like... I would make an, an exception, I suppose, if I was quoting something. And even then, only if it was written down. Otherwise, I would prefer not to. Uh, Alright. I, I find it kind of funny, anyways, to try to avoid that kind of stuff. And say things like, oh, frick. Frick frackle. You have my even talking about, like, serious topics. Someone was asking me, actually, like, would... <laughs> 
like how would you tell somebody that like something awful happened to you if um you know like you don't want to swear like say you got raped but you didn't want to say the word would you have to tell someone you got diddled <laughs> that's that's a, a college student asked me that question actually who was older than me even he was like 24 <laughs> but i got him to say that because of my own um aversion to swearing uh, where do I want to put these guys? I I can't perfectly estimate the range of the cutthroats. So I want them to be shooting at the barracks in range of the dwarf. So back here. But I want the barracks to be up front so that way they can die <laughs> as fast as possible. And then I have time to micro them back and they'll have respond in that time, hopefully. Those are my goals. Okay, good. <laughs> deal with that right away and now that he actually has xp i can damage the cutthroat slightly yes look at that i mean it would be nice if he spread the damage to the previous cutthroat okay good they are in range and now he can't shoot his range attack so even better and then uh yeah spawn everybody in doesn't matter doesn't <laughs> doesn't bother me okay get that upgrade right away come on no, okay, yeah, no, he's not going to be able to do twin slashes. Poison everybody. Now I micro these guys back here. Uh, oh, wait, I, I can just do lightning right away. I forgot. Aw, nuts. I forgot what the original strategy was, but th this is working out. This is working out. So, yeah, yeah, get, get squashed. And then tier 2, because tier 1 can't handle those guys on its own. And then do this. And Aravan, you can solo her. Yeah, poison the harassers. They need to have less HP when they come in. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Aravan can never use Twin Slashes optimally. Because that's, that's like pure RNG, whether or not he can uh, use it or he'll get interrupted. Oops, I didn't... Oh, I, I forgot that I wasn't supposed to get tier 3. Well, alright. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't throw the game already. But I, I didn't want it to have to come to this. Okay, how quickly can I gain gold from killing enemies? Hmm? Yeah, double slashes. Oh wait, that it does barely any damage, right? So it doesn't even matter. Okay, good. I got this upgraded. Just in time. Yeah, I don't I don't care about this. Unless it prevents the ability from charging in time. Which, in that case, it might actually be a better thing. Alright, so you're gonna stall him as long as possible. Yeah, use your air volley. And then and then leave. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're focusing hard. Yeah, core drill. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I might just have to do that. <laughs> Alright, Ar Aridan. Uh, yep, keep healing. In between shots. Like a G. Cordrill? Please? Good. Good. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Oh, right. And then I have to deal with that. Okay. There goes my lightning. I gotta remember, next time, um, save the air volley for that. So that way I can save the lightning for this. Because uh, this is kind of kind of ugly. Do that though, and then it's not so ugly anymore. And then, paladins. Cordial, thank you. Oh, yes. Now, Aridan, you come over here. Yes, don't get distracted. Uh, Paladins. Come on, armor. I'm so close to having enough gold. Good. Yes! Aw, yeah, baby. Look at that. First try. First try after getting enough XP to actually make Aridan usable. Now, what do I want to upgrade, though? Let's just wait it out. 
Yeah, this could be a problem. Oh boy. Um. Come on, Cordru. Yes. Oh my gosh, Micro. Come on. Come on, kill the glue we don't with. Good. Okay, I could just max them out, so I will. I think I won. Oh my goodness, what a rush. Look at that, I got an achievement with it. 50 stars, baby. Alright. I'm so glad that I spent some time killing bunnies. So that way I could get the XP to make Aerodan usable in this challenge. Because I had I had it all figured out. You know, you just gotta trust me, alright? I, I knew what I wanted to do. And I, and I did it. I executed it. I had a plan. It just took like an hour worth of investment. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, now that I don't have to focus so hard on that challenge. Let me see what's going on in, <laughs> in the chat. Imagine beating the stage the first time and you get this iron challenge. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Kingdom Rush Missile only. Big Bertha, Battle Mecha, and Wilbur. That should be fun. Except for the fact that, again, Big Bertha's glitched. Um, let's see. Guess who's next in Sunny V2's video? What, because of the thing that I was talking about? <laughs> Guess there were gloomies on that level after all. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Paladins are unkillable in Origins. <laughs> Alright, fine. New pin message. <laughs> what a rush. Roll the credits. <laughs> you got me there. Mm. Alright, because everything's at level 4 anyways, alter reality for the memes. Now, uh... Oh, dear. Okay, archers and artillery only again. What is it with ar um, archers and artillery only for um, Kingdom Rush Origins challenges? I know what it is. They want you to use the stupid rune bears, don't they? Well, I'm not going to use that. Especially because they gave me free barracks. So, <laughs> there's another there's another way. Okay, sword spitter. S sword spider, I mean. And web spitter. <laughs> Tongue twister. Gloomies. Alright. So... Now it's time to use Tesla without smart targeting. This should be fun. And don't say that I could have bought it because, no, I couldn't. Or, well, okay, I could have bought it, but I couldn't benefit from it. I wouldn't get to use it. Now, I need to figure out if the Groot Slang is in this challenge or not. Because if so, then it's all over. It's all ogre for me. Hmm. Okay, uh, what do I want to do here? I guess... Hmm... Hmm. 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 Oh right. Okay. So since this is the iron challenge, and there's not going to be any enemies that come out from over here, or over here, that means that I can put my units all the way up at the front, like this, and build Teslas up at the top, right? Like that. Okay, please tell me that I can defend against Gloomies. Aerodan, just be on standby to shoot Gloomies. Alright, Gritsling is in this challenge. We're gonna find out right now if we can kill them. Oh boy. Yeah, just immediately kill them, please. <laughs> There's a lot of Gritsling body pieces that are showing up here. Alright, what happens? Does he reach? Okay, good. He doesn't reach the Tesla. That's what's mostly important. And, oh, okay. Looks like I made the right call. Look at that. They're all coming over this way. Alright. Get shot to death. Whip spitter. Go bye-bye. Barracks. Oh, okay. Now's, now's where the trouble begins. Um, AoE. Oh my gosh. Look at how, look at how much, um, vertical space they take up. Okay, good. The <laughs> that worked. That worked. Um, yeah, just damage it, please. I don't have Okay, I see. So he can shoot up. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. So, basically what this means is I got to pull back and use Tesla's back here instead. Now I know. So, 
yeah, just invest in Overcharge right away. And wait for Aradan to get over there to the spot that I moved him to. And let's begin. <laughs> nice, he can actually shoot a spider completely to death. I'm sure everyone would like to. Smart targeting doesn't affect overcharge, so I don't think it matters. Yeah, the only thing that um, matters about that is that if if I'm using it for the overcharge, I'm um, only really using it for the overcharge because the basic attack kind of sucks now. Can't even kill sword spiders. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good. Let's just prepare reinforcements up there. Come on, porcupine shot. Good. <laughs> Reinforcements. Oh no, their their damage, the RNG. <laughs> or no, are they guaranteed? I think they might be guaranteed to survive. So that's not RNG. All right, spiders, come on, hurry up and die. Please hurry up and die so that we can stop being in the way and taking up space. Good. Good. No, not good anymore. Yeah, that Tesla spot. You'd think it would be better, but it's worse, actually. Hmm. Not only um, is it worse, but because it's not good enough, and because all of these towers will become disabled if you try um, anything else, I don't know what else you could do. Because clearly, archers aren't going to work. Like, the amount of micro that it takes to beat the right side gloomies, which are far less than the left side gloomies. Hmm, I think you just have to hope for RNG on the overcharge. So it's time to gamble. Oh, right, I forgot. I needed to move Aerodan all the way up. I gotta wait for him to walk. Would you guess the Rizzler? Okay. Uh, that, yeah, that's as far to the side as they're gonna go. So, let's just begin. See what I can do here. Oh, nice. That was one of the steam moments of all time. And then... Yeah, can I avoid using... Um, what's it called? Spells over there? Yes, I can. Alright, good. Good to know. Oh yeah, look at that RG. Lightning. Just to give the Tesla more time to kill everything with overcharge. Uh, I have to do that. That's so bad. Yeah, and I gotta move up here. Oh, okay, that was really bad, too. Everything's bad. Yeah, no, hold on. That's just full restart at that point. Okay, yeah, Aerodan, get over there immediately. Don't want to waste time waiting on you. I have to do this, right? Like, I can't... I cannot picture another strategy that would work here. This doesn't have enough, like, damage to hit anything. I almost hit Pierce. Remember I called the uh, mushrooms bloons last time? I was playing. Oh man, that's that's the mushrooms' fault. <laughs> I'll just blame it on the mushrooms. All right, yeah, you know what? I have a better idea. Put the reinforcements here to support these guys, the barracks. And then, come on, hurry up. Good. And then, overcharge. Don't let me down. Good. This don't let me down. All right, that should be just what I need. And then, oh man, yeah, I gotta get these guys over here. And oh no, Tesla still can't deal with it. What is the damage of overcharge again? Is it thirty to forty exactly? So it's only one in ten chance for it to kill them. Hmm. Yeah, I could just you know, plan ahead to keep Aerodan down there after killing the Web Spitter to shoot down the last Gloomy at the end. But then there's so many Gloomies afterwards. No, that's fine, though, because I'll have a spell back. And then once those ones are dead, then I'll have Aerodan in range to deal with um, the rest. Hmm, I don't know how many more Gloomies there are going to be. So I'm going to go for a risk and just try building archers after that. And hope that that's enough. So we shall see. Okay, 
Spawn these guys in this spot immediately. How about that? You have my bow. The first level of the third area in the main campaign. Oh, okay. People are talking about leveling up heroes again. Jeez. You guys really want to level up heroes. You know what the best way to level up heroes is? Edit your save file. Okay, yeah. Without the, um... <laughs> without at least one set of reinforcements there. Kind of in a bad spot. Eridan. He can't use twin slashes. Unless it's a... Really? Dropbox gave me a notification right now and killed me. Freaking Dropbox. I don't care. Why did it... Also, why did it take so long for it to tell me that? I've had my computer on for this long and it just told me that right now. What the heck? Also, I don't use Dropbox. I don't remember ever having the service. So I don't know what it's full with. I think that's something that my mom did unknowingly. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? The reinforcement's here first. Yeah, because they and Aravan, or Aradan, can help out. And then... Put these guys here. And then, spell here. I wonder if you could spawn kill both of them, actually. That would be pretty handy. Ooh, nice hit. And then, I want to do this. And then move Aradan. Come on, Tesla. Good. And then, yeah, yeah, do that. Oh, no, he can use the slashes on, on them. All right. Good to know. Yeah, you stay there. And hit all the gloomies so that way there's no problem. The game is lagging. Get archers. And, okay, <laughs> so instead of just um, keeping him there, I have to move him all the way down to hit the very last gloomy that's leaking. Got it. At least this is all here at the beginning of the level. Can you imagine doing this trial and error like 12 minutes in to an attempt on a level? Oh my gosh. That would just be disgustingly evil. Uh, Okay. Yeah, reinforcements here first. I gotta remember all the other stuff that I already decided I was gonna do on top of the new things that I'm deciding to do. And then, yeah, th then we put reinforcements here. Then we do that. Max out overcharge. Honestly, I could probably save gold on maxing out overcharge because I only need a little bit of it, right? I only need enough to, um, what's it called? <laughs> I need enough to, to kill them in two shots because it's going to be two shots anyways. All right. Uh, and then also I could get the archer in the middle as well. That, that is another thing I could do. All right, come on, Aerodan. Oh, and now this time I didn't need to do that. Great. Uh, yeah, keep multiplying. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, the, the freaking spiders, they need to hurry up and die. Look at all the stupid HP that they have. Just stop existing. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Good. Come on. Pierce through him. This... Aw, oh, man. And then this, these spiders on this side get through. Hmm. This one's a doozy. This one I would want backseat help for. Okay, hold on a second. Let me... Let me let me do some Googling. I need to go online. Uh, okay, great. Great. Okay, that's that's bad news. So, on top of this being RNG already with the gloomies, it's also RNG with the spiders. Because, yeah, the Tesla deals like 0.5 times as much damage to the other spiders it chains to. Hmm. Maybe, okay, I have another idea. Instead of leveling up the archer right away, I'll level up the barracks. Then they can survive against sword spiders and they can shoot the gloomies. And then maybe it can work on a Tesla on this side. I'm not sure. That part I'm going to have to decide on based on what else is in the level. <laughs> no, I don't want to use Katha. Dang it. Uh, well, let me let me get him to level 10 first. And also, I would probably have to farm Katha outside of the stream. Because I don't want to... I Honestly, I don't want the pressure of talking while I'm farming XP or um, editing my save file. 
Oops, wait, I did the wrong... Okay, hold on. Now, now I'm thinking too much. I have an idea. I have an idea, though. We'll just edit the save file right now. So what is Katha at? Level 6. Alright, so let's just pretend, right, that I went to Unsealy Court Iron and I farmed for like three hours there. Let me um, go to Display Capture. Yes, like this. Now there's infinite me's. And then go to... Where do I need to go? Oh, I probably need to close the game, actually. Yeah, so close the game. And then it's app data roaming. You go to, you go to run. Type in run. Go here. Open app data. Or data, however you pronounce it. Roaming. And then go to origins. Slot 2. This is the one that we want. Okay, yeah, sure. Open up windows all over the place. Uh, Katha. XP. Okay, let's just let's double this. So six four three nine zero, and then save, and then exit out of that, and now switch from. Well, okay, fine. I'll just leave that running for now. Then go back to Origins. Let me just see if, if uh, I have enough XP for Katha. It's probably still not enough, actually. But maybe that's accurate to what three hours of farming on Impossible Mode would be. So go back to Saw 2. Hello, Vaduke. I am so lucky I finally caught your stream. I recently fell in love with you. We're Morgan and Cozines. Oh, thank you. I love being fallen in love with. I just thanked somebody for saying they fell in love with me. Actually, I, that's not the first time that I did something similar to that. I did... Alright, embarrassing story time. I asked somebody out before. I, I literally said, or I, I asked, like, would you like to go on a date with me? And she said, sure. <laughs> and I said, thank you, <laughs> in response, because I didn't think I was going to get that far. So... <laughs> I... I <laughs> that was the mistake that I made. Okay, let me... Let me swap from display capture to game capture. Uh, properties, capture specific window, origins. So hopefully you can still see origins. Bro's gay. I will build my harem. Uh, where's origins? Is it still not showing up? Okay, good. I, I saw nothing but darkness for a while. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the iron. Okay. So now we have more levels for Katha. In fact... Uh, oops, hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to hit reset. Instead of the heal, what if we max out the hero spell first? Uh, oh, wait a minute. This. And then how does this get distributed? Okay, sure. Because we need damage. Actually... The magic damage against the spiders is going to be really bad. So it would be better not to optimize that. Yeah, okay. Hopefully she doesn't have a Kutsa moment. A Kutsa moment would be she has so many skills that she doesn't do the one that you want her to do. Because they keep getting in the way of each other. Um, yeah, and then come over here. Tesla? Oh yeah, there's so many variations that I still have to try. Oh gosh. This is like this is like the number of moves you can make on a chessboard. I've got I've got you know different levels of overcharge that I can try to save gold for a tower that I want to get elsewhere, but like what tower do I want to get? You know what? Let's try that. Let's try the minimum overcharge tier. No, it's gonna die to spiders. What am I doing? Yeah, no 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 no. I can't. Okay, so that's good, I think, because that means less variations. So yeah, Katha, do your thing. There's so much to, to think about. Uh, okay, what's going on? You're a natural, David. Uh, thank you. Oh, no. Why did I take the advice to use Katha? What is she supposed to do against this? Look at this. This whole situation. Look at this. Instant defeat. Just instant defeat. Yeah, no, it has to be Aridan. Or another hero that can attack. 
but there's not enough gold to deal with the gloomies on one side, let alone the right side. It can't be Katha. It can't be Prince Dinas, because the King's Guard. Like this, or maybe the tornado, but I'm I'm done with Aravan. I quit using him. What are the heroes are there that would be usable here? Most of them don't really like the Pew Pew drones would be probably ideal. Because think about it. You still have to try really hard to use them early. Otherwise, you don't have the output to deal with the um, Gloomies. So honestly, this one might be impossible with the heroes that are available at the moment. That's impossible difficulty for you. You know what? This one might be chaos with the heroes available to you at the moment. So I can't do that. That's fine though. Let's just um, get three stars in the Ascent and call it a day. Yeah, to spawn kill the gloomies means to leak to the spiders on the right side at the top right. So there's um, no way that I can foresee you being able to do that challenge. What did I end up using? Something like this, right? I can't even remember now. Uh, oh, oops. Hold on. Maybe I don't want to do it like that. Okay, set everything up over here. Do a little bit of this. They should at least let you unlock Shin early, you know? And then whatever. <laughs> Get that too. Yep, alright, let's 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 try doing this here. I say Shin because at least um, his playstyle is a little bit different to the rest of the heroes so far. Like, you've got Brave Bark for taking. You've got Rick's Sun as like an assassin for insta-kills. Whereas um, Shin would be sort of the middle ground between um like tanking and like the insta kills because he's just got his own tanking ability and then his damage output he's the middle ground uh right it was it was something like this right <laughs> oh yeah and i was using rick's son too right for the insta kill <laughs> oh oh it was this yes now i remember well, now it's Aerodan that's got to do the job. Yeah, Vanilla Origins with Aerodan. Or uh, with, with, uh, with Aerodan, he, he'll miss his abilities with its Vanilla or Chaos mode. I'll just call the wave immediately. By the way, how did you get into the games? If you found them recently? Did you return to them after finding them on Flash? Or is it more of a, like, you were just looking for games on the App Store or, or something else? Highly rated games on Steam and you came across this? Because I'm, I'm curious to see new people getting into the games. Like, how that even happens. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll just let that wave come in. Yeah, everybody? Are you done dodging? No, they're not. Alright, this, this reinforcement needs to hurry up and die. Okay, great. Now I can do that. And then lightning. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it nice having strong lightning? Look how fast he is. Wow. Wait, is he healing? Oh, never mind. He just has really strong armor. No. Alright. Uh, yep. Make all the reinforcements spawn. Good. Yeah, I yeah, killed them. Okay, I guess even max lightning on this thing isn't strong enough. Good job, Aerodan. Look at that. He tanked him long enough that he can just kill him with all the spiders. Oh, gosh. And he whiffed. Okay, yeah, I don't care. Do your worst. Actually, I do care because that reminded me that I need to defend the exit down here. <laughs> can boy voodoo today. Alright, that's... That's a bit too far. My my mother would not be pleased with that nickname. Let's see. I'm a longtime fan. I used to play on armor games. And then someone else says, I came back after some time because I now have money to buy them. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the first game you ever played on the computer? Cool. Everybody's got fun little child memories, huh? Um... Okay, what was I going to do here? I was going to build... Oh, right. I think I had... 
a mecca in like a sort of not good spot and then some barracks as well let me let me try something a little bit different actually so another dark forge can't go wrong oh nice level 10 eridan let's go all right spiders nope come on and then aoe sometime today freeze them good and then don't accidentally build the tower like last time that would be bad yeah stall this guy for as much as possible and then we're gonna spawn frankie and i'll just send him up to the front look at all that damage he's gaining oh good 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 yeah kill them both with lightning excellent oh uh yeah just do that Okay, interesting. Interesting turn of events. Yeah, whatever. They're dead, so I'm happy. But dude, you may be an adult, but you legit look as old as a teen. Thank you. I get that a lot. I've been mistaken for like 14 years old before. Like 8th grade, middle school, whatever. Okay, let's get King Julian. And then, yeah, lining. Oh, okay. You know what? Good enough. I think the AoE is big enough to kill them both. Yeah, it is. And then, yeah, we're going to have a lot of these guys, but it's okay. Frankie, you move. Okay, good. He actually listened to me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was, that was pretty tight. All right, yeah, that's enough arrows. So come over here. Wow, he's still alive. And again, I got the worst one. Oh, no, it reaches. Okay. That's not so bad then. Okay, yeah. You guys all get bombarded by arrows. And then what's coming next? Harassers, evokers. All right, yeah, let's max out Frankie. The range of this is too big. It's targeting the, <laughs> the wrong enemies. Okay, not anymore, though. That's good. Yeah, I need, I need Frankie back here as well. This... This is going to be a, a, a scary level to defend against. Come on, Aridan, do your thing. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was very close. Now, I can honestly not even worry about Aridan not healing or not being at that high health. Look at that. He, <laughs> he already gained so much health that he undid the poison damage or that the it, it took the whole poison attack. To undo the healing. Alright, AoE. Uh, not yet. That's fine, though. Yeah, look, he's, he was at full health, and then got poisoned. And now he's back to full health again. He heals so incredibly fast. It's such a cheat code. This is why he's such a better tank than Brave Bark. I'll, I'll stand by that. Alright, do I need a spell here? AoE? Good. Yeah, no, I need it. Actually, I didn't need it because I could have just bought something with my gold. Okay, let's think here. Mm -hmm. Let's let's calculate what we want to do. So I've got a thousand gold, and I'm only halfway done with the level. That's because there's so many more Sons of Mactans here that I'm getting extra gold. I probably want to level up the barracks there, but I also have a very insecure choke point in the top left. So I think I would sooner, I don't know, get a battle mecha. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get a battle mecha. And then what instead of get star upgrades in? Not mages. Alright, yeah, battle mecha. This will slow down stuff. And then we'll start spawn camping the spiders over here. And you just know there's going to be a ton of Sons of Mactans coming out. You just know that everything's going to be nasty here. Uh, so I'm ready. I have my finger on the buzzer, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> gotta do that right away. Um, do I want the poop? No, I'll get the missiles. I think hopefully that damage will be enough to deal with everything over here, but I'm I'm honestly not sure. I could be dead wrong about that. Oh, I can okay. You know what? The barracks fit in pretty nicely over here, so that's good. And then here comes the spiders. So hero spell. Nice. Everything got handled. Yeah, the missiles are doing a good job too. Look at all the gold I have. 
already. Already back to almost what I was at. So Avengers Evokers and then more Sword Spiders. Okay. Every time I see that there's only Sword Spiders coming from here, I know KM5 is thinking, well, Sword Spiders, that's not enough. I need more Sons of Mactans. Okay, let's max out the poop now. So I know that there's going to be more Sons of Mactans coming. I can feel it in my bones. This weather portends uh, more Sons of Mactans. <laughs> okay, good. The uh, lack of armor from being in melee combat. That's really paying off. And, okay, the reason why I don't want the barracks all the way up here is because they're just going to get blocked by um, the webs. However, if I put, like, um, force keepers over here, then their vines can block stuff. Or, well, stall stuff. Alright. Can reinforcements finish these guys off? Let's see. Oh, no. My level 1 barracks. Whatever shall I do? Okay, yeah, I kind of wasted the hero spell there. Come on, come on, come on. Chunky units. We like them big and chunky. Funky monkey. Wow. Aradan actually almost soloed the Twilight Avenger on impossible difficulty. In fact, he very well still could have if he got enough RNG. And that's with a weaker, like, twin slashes. Because it's only at tier 1. So he actually could have soloed the Twilight Avenger. Can Bravebark do that? I don't think so. You, you have the insta-kill to uh, do that, but you, you wouldn't be able to um, do anything else for another 35 seconds after that. Whereas Aerodan, back to back, and look at that, he's already back at full health, and he would still be healing now. What a, what a giga chad. What, definitely one of the um, better free heroes. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that, because he, he has to compete with Ulrich, Gerald, Ruxa... Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. <laughs> I can't click. Okay, nothing but sword spiders again. No, you go away. Be gone. Thought. Definitely level up the barracks. Uh, oh, you're saying to get rangers? Like the uh, Sylvan Elf custom tower? That also could be a good idea. I'm going to get these guys up here first, though. Alright, hold on. Let's stall these guys as long as possible. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe maybe I should use the barracks that I've got to stall these guys as long as possible. That could be handy. Okay. All's well that ends well. Uh, we'll get healing, too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because Aerodan needs more health. He definitely needs more health regeneration. And yeah, we got these coming on the way, so I'll just level up my spears. Uh, yeah, I'll just call the wave now. Oh, no. Missiles? Wow. It actually... Oh, my gosh. Sorry if I keep light skin staring every time um, spiders spawn. But I need I need to look with uh, skepticism every time this is going on. All right, Frankie. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's because I doubt him every time. But I shouldn't. Because look at this. Okay, yeah, spiders keep coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Oh, they, they went this way. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, everyone get grouped up, get grouped up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'll say it again. What a rush. <laughs> Aerodan is skimping for Illyria. Ironhide confirmed. Oh, you mean simping? We're actually used in Origins Tower and Origins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new pin. We'll get one more pin before the stream is over. Uh, what else do I want to do? Oh, okay. Well, now they're blocked. Yeah, I'll just do this, and then, um, yeah, there they are, Elven Rangers. And then, yeah, I should probably max out the heal because these guys are still dying. Oh no! Dang it! I thought it was too slow there. Thank you, KM5, for giving me some forgiveness. Okay, yeah, let, let all these spiders spawn. I don't think clicking it away does anything, but I could be wrong about that. 
Oh yeah, that the four elves dealing all that damage. That's working out very nicely. Okay, oh yeah, there's a little bit of everybody coming here. So yeah, let's just um, spawn camp all of these guys. Uh, let's move them back a little bit. Okay, Aravali. Just a plex. Oh, dang it. And then you guys get over here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um, alright. That was probably a mistake. Oh, there's more Razor Boars. Okay. Um, because there's so many... Or there's so much extra gold, I might as well get another mecha, right? Or no? Oh, great. Um, yeah, get another mecha with the gold. And the poop. Oh, nice missiles. They're just circling. Horse keepers, look at that. All that stalling power. <laughs> yeah, Aerodan can hold one of these guys, and then the other one dies in time for me to react to it. Nope, come on. Good. Good. I'm, I'm so glad I got another tower here. No. You cut that out. And then Aerodan. Uh, okay, well, this enemy is kind of... <laughs> this enemy's in range. So, let, let's see what happens. Will the chaotic damage from the battle mecha kill this evoker sooner or not? Okay, I'm going to do this. Kill these evokers. See what happens. Yeah, there we go. Aerodan killed the evoker sooner. And then we can kill this other one very quickly. And then... Oh, that didn't work out. Okay. Let's just max out these towers. I'm glad that the evokers can um, silence <laughs> the Dark Forge. Because clearly the Dark Forge's magic is, um, you know, the, the reason why it's so powerful. Definitely just the magic. Alright, um, I'm going to assume that those guys have it handled. And, yeah, we'll just stall over here. Oh yeah, these guys really do have it handled. Frankie OP. The A AoE damage, I'm assuming, was hurting the other stuff behind him. Like the Evoker. Oh yeah, Missile will finish off the Evoker too. Gila. Whatever that means. Oh, okay. Hi, Arachnomancer. Yeah, let's not, let's not spawn a bunch of enemies now. Speaking of which, look at all these guys. Alright, I'm gonna move Frankie up. He didn't even need to do anything. And then, for the fun of it, let's build... What does this do? Uh... Uh-huh. The power of modding. And I need gold. <laughs> oh, too late. Okay. <laughs> that was one of the runs of all time. And I got Aerodance to level 10. So I'll consider that a victory. What a great stream, right? Fine, I'll use Katha. Uses Aerodan the whole time. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Bye.